Super Uncrusted Joseph. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the opening, um, opening night of the Stamford Mill and Fair. And you've got lots of rides and attractions here. So without further ado, let's get into it. It's a fair without a carousel. This has been here for many years. It's only been one year where it hasn't been here. And it's a classic, isn't it? It's always nice to have a fair. Great atmosphere, great um, electric um, crowd. these rides is you uh, have to wait at the tops in order for them to be loaded but it's not too bad after a while especially with a seatbelt the one at Breen Ledge Park or the former one at Breen Ledge Park uh, Extreme that had no seatbelt so it made me feel a little bit more uneasy this does so Woo. yeah this is not this is one not for the faint of heart
Okay, so this is actually my favourite ride at the uh, South Midland Fair. It pulled quite a bit of horse and you get some awesome views. And like with all rides at uh, to fairs or any booster, to be uh, honest, you have to wait at the top. Get a nice view. Shouldn't be too long, you can get a nice good view of a freak out while we're up here. as they push, push down on the bottom it does shake a little bit yeah this this ride's not for the faint of heart and here we go blinded by the light <laughs> and that's vertigo for you
it was a nice long cycle and overall pretty forceful. And quite a few airtime moments as well. But next up, like I said earlier, time for the KMG three count. Street now 
and uh, down to Barthoro towards um, um, Barthoro now. I thought I'd mention there's a, a couple of fairground rides over here too. You've got the uh, classic um, Twister Sizzler ride over there. You've got a little um, kid, um, kid's uh, truck ride over there. And uh, a nice little sweet shop as well. A well, sweet vending outlet. This has always been here and uh, always delivers some uh, good candy, of course, for you uh, Americans out there that watch my um, videos. You also have a couple of... Uh, um, um, eatery outlets down here, a midway game down here. Uh, all around, it's a great atmosphere. Bears always have good, good atmospheres, and it's very important to, to encourage to encourage people to come down and. Sorry. It's always important to encourage um, people to come to your vendor. That's important for a few reasons because. Uh, well, you, you want to put on a good show to get people to come and spend their money. So they have, the ride operators or the, um, the guys who run the rides need to put on a great uh, performance. Anyway, I'm going to head down towards Bath Road. Towards um, Bath Road now. We've got another kiss uh, truck ride over here. A mini pirate ship and a couple of other small attractions like the Gold Striker and the uh, Hook Duck. Hook Duck, of course. It's a classic. We used to get goldfish when I was a kid. Um, play the Hook a Duck. We've yeah, got a couple of uh, tasty treats over here. More eatery outlets. The trampolines. You've also got a nice fun house over here. Um, which is um, always fun, as I said earlier. And you got something also quite cool down here, and I think I'm going to give it a go. It's a spooky tower. I've never done it before, so I'm kind of curious what it's about. So, may as well go and pay up and have a look. go inside. So, I'm making my way into the haunted house maze now. I'm going to go and investigate what this is all about, because I've not done this before. So, I'm very curious. Here we go. A cool overlook over the area. Through the spooky house. Ooh, very spooky. towers or four part cry nights. All around a great experience and uh, as you saw from that, uh, um, the shots I got with the GoPro, it was pretty uh, spooky some of the uh, statues and animatronics in there. So a real good experience. The uh, bath row at long last. There's a couple more food kiosks out here. As we make our way down to my 
was once a favourite right here and is now my second favourite, Extreme. This is quite a classic Extreme. You can find this in uh, many different places and now all this out is near you. <laughs> Funny enough. Yeah, these are always great fun rides. I'm gonna go on it in a minute, but I wanna go and get some um, other shots for you as, as I make my way down. I'm gonna show you what else there is. Now around in this corner, there's a unique ride that I haven't seen anywhere else. It's this over here. Now this is Exciter. Now I'm, I don't think, I think this is the only one of its kind. I'm not 100% sure on that. Please correct me if I am wrong, but yeah, you've got Exciter over here. just there so I've been on it before so I know what it feels like and then over here we've got a brand new attraction for this year down on the Midland Fair and it's this this is brand new for this year it's a massive slingshot I've personally never done one I must give it a go so I always find them quite terrifying, but I might give this one a go, maybe. I figure out at the end that if I want to do that one or not, because uh, I've never done one before and I'm a little bit nervous of them, so yeah. Anyway, show you more what's down here. You also got some trampolines down here. You can, uh, only kids can really go on, but it's cool having trampolines. Yeah, of course, have the bumper, um, bumper cars, or the um, uh, junior bumper cars, that is. Nice and soft. You yeah, have more midway games down here. Including a uh, derby race and run. There you go. We've got more midway games out here. And this little junior carousel right their way down here at the end of um, Bath Row. This end really could do with some more thrill rides, and that slingshot is definitely a step in the right direction. But I would like to see the return of a uh, flow rider I know has been down here, Sky Master. Uh, it's like a swinging inverter ship, I think, but with a. Uh, Shoulder restraints. Think about the one at Energy Landia, that, that was a similar sort of ride, the inverse swinger. Anyway, I'm going to head down the other side of uh, Bath Row and uh, show you what's all over there because there's also another new attraction for this year, not just this slingshot over here, there's one uh, a bit further down. And uh, yeah, it, it's going to be cool having some more thrill rides about. Anyway, I'll uh, switch it off now and when I'm back down there, I'll uh, turn it back up. Stream here. You've got more trampolines over here. Three sets of them in the Stanford Midland Fair. And uh, as we make our way down here, there's more sideshow games, but there's also some more rides down here. And uh, there's a brand new thrilling ride for this year around the corner. I am going to do it today because I've never done it before here. It's called Atmosphere. And it is a tall ride. There it is in action. This thing is huge. Huge pendulum ride. It's a lot bigger than Freak Out, I'll tell you that. But also the gondolas themselves also spin as well. And I believe on this cycle, or maybe the next one. Yeah, it's a second. <laughs> it does go all the way upside down, 360. And you get some incredible hang time on it too. I've been on this type of ride before. So without further ado, let's get on it. Here we go. I've been on a 
few of these before, so these are always great fun rides. Move you up there a little bit.
getting some great views from some of these star flies. I think I'm gonna do a bit of a gentle ride today um, now because I'm getting a little bit mentally a bit sickly. I'll get excited on extreme a go. I'm probably not gonna do this sl um, slingshot like I said because I am a little bit nervous about it admittedly so uh, I'll, I think I'll save that for a separate uh, video me riding my first slingshot yeah you can see vertigo over there that's the ride we did earlier you can also see over there as well The atmosphere here definitely in the Midland Fair is a lot better this year. A lot of tall rides, which is very good. A nice gentle swing. The cool thing about this ride as well is over the water, so you get you make a splash. You see the town bridge over there? I know it's one of the best fun pairs in the world, but it's still a very good one. I should take that back, it's actually a very good fun pair. Yeah, during the day it's actually quite a bit better as well, you get a lot more views. Especially on the first go. I think I'm probably doing a separate on my POV. It's always important to break up your uh, extreme rides with a nice uh, family ride. Cycles, and that's something I would admit the um, smaller places and the fun fairs and smaller parks do much better than the bigger parks. Is the intensity of the flat rides is quite a bit uh, better, in my opinion.
the uh, Star Flyer, or Sky Flyer as it's called. Yeah, that was pretty good. Get some great views on top of that. Always get a great view on top of a Star Flyer. Anyway, there's a couple of other rides that uh, I should mention that is here. There's a second bumper cars, if anyone loves bumper cars. There's also a second Miami Wave. Which they are always great fun to pay off. You can see the uh, slingshot there in the background. You can see that there. You can also see extreme and exciter guys. Doing their respective thing. Also got a couple of children's flat rides around here. Atmosphere like I said earlier. A great atmosphere. There you go. Sight at an extreme. Extreme spinniness. Awesome seeing the Midland Fair back. As you can see along Bath Row, all the way down there, from the Star Flyer to Atmosphere, Extreme, Exciter, and the Mungie. There's now no shortage of thrill rides. The intense ride on uh, um, Exciter. Uh, it's come to the end of my day. I haven't got time for Extreme today, so. I'll do come back and do that another day. I'll also slingshot in a separate video as a I'm a little bit nervous of doing it admittedly because it's my first slingshot ride so yeah wish me luck when I uh, do go, eventually go and ride it and anyway I hope you enjoyed this video of the stuff in Midland Fair my hometown um, fair and uh, yeah in terms of prices the prices were um, pretty reasonable five pounds mostly for the uh, he, five, three to five pounds from the uh, big attractions, but do be aware during the week the prices do increase, which I think is a little bit sneaky. But um, yeah, they do increase during the week, so just be aware of that. But from me to you guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, so please like, comment, and subscribe to Rollercoaster Joster, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.